Hello brothers and sisters, Aaron Clark here with the Psalm 23 Challenge, week 5. I want to say God bless you to all those people who have been taking up this challenge, which some have made me aware that it's more of a challenge than they thought it was. It seemed like just 10 minutes a day for 6 days a week is very simple, but when you go to do things that the Lord has put on your heart or maybe you're being challenged by someone else to do, you find out just how challenging it is. So. God bless you for keeping up, and if you've fallen off, get back up, keep going. So verse 5 says, Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. I talked about that. And you anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Today I want to really drill down on, he anoints my head with oil. What I learned from a shepherd is that the shepherd will take oil, and he puts liniment and different herbs and spices in that oil. And he anoints the sheep's heads with oil. And it's for a very specific reason. It is because there is something called a nasal fly among many different flies and, and bugs and stuff that get in their noses and gets in their ears. But this one particular nasal fly, I thought you would find very interesting. This fly lays eggs right in the noses of sheep. And the eggs hatch and the worms go up into the sheep's nose and literally drives them crazy. What the shepherds will find the sheep doing once they get this worm in their head is beating their heads against trees and stumps and Many of them actually will beat themselves to death trying to deal with the worm that's in their head. Now, I know you can think about that and parallel that to many different realities, but you know where it can go when you get a worm inside your head. And I know for me, that worm has represented so many different things and how I beat my head against the wall and how I've done so many different things trying to kill the pain because that's literally what the worms do. It causes the sheep pain in their heads and they're just trying to get to the pain. And um, I felt that pain down in my soul and I've been bleeding in my heart and I've done so many things to hurt myself. I, I remember one time I wrote in my journal and this was a, a a serious turning point in my life. I read in my journal one time to the day, actually a year to the day, it said, don't kill yourself trying to kill the pain. And that to this day still sticks with me because at that time I, I was literally, when I look back, I was a sheep beating myself to death trying to deal with a pain that was deep down on the inside. A worm was inside me. And, um, so just think about that. I don't know what, what could be going on inside you, what's going on inside your mind, um, but I know for me personally, I've had so many different things going on inside my heart and mind, and I have literally wanted to uh, and have hurt myself. And to this day, I'm, I constantly have to ward off those flies, trying to lay eggs so a worm can work its way up into my mind and drive me Kate crazy. So God bless you as you think about this. I, I hope you find a, a healthy parallel to you, especially when you take this and couple it with the reality that the Lord actually has something that he does with his anointing. And this is the, the parallel with the Holy Spirit that will coat us, that will guard us because you know the, the nose is a member, is an opening. Um, actually for the sheep to go right up into the sheep's head that the Lord has a way of protecting us to make sure that those pesky flies don't even want to come around us and lay eggs that can hatch worms that get into our heads and drive us crazy. And I want to say this for you leaders in ministry. You may have a person who just seems to be just, you know, bothering you or it's that little child or young adult that you're saying, why are you doing this? What are you doing? Remember, 
internal pain can cause very erratic and irrational external actions. At the heart of most of the things that we're doing that hurt ourselves is some kind of pain. Don't judge the people that are doing things that are out of character or that, that are there just hurting themselves. Remember that it's a pain that I can't reach, that you can't reach, but the Lord God can reach that pain. And so we should be praying like crazy for the Lord to help them and, and for him to also anoint them so that no more pesky flies can come and lay eggs and hatch worms that get into their heads and drive them crazy. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Until next time, week six, we'll cap it all off with, surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May your meditations and your prayers bring you great blessing, and may you reflect on your journal one day and say, wow, look what God has done. Amen.